Netafim Backflush Controllers are manufactured for reliable and long-lasting performance and are available in several options to fit specific filtration applications. Setup and programming are quick and simple. On the front of the controller, there are four keys. The Enter key, Minus key, Plus key, and Manual key. How to set up the Netafim Backflush Controller Turn on the controller by pressing any key. To set up the controller, hold down the Enter key for three seconds until you see the word Yes blinking on the screen. Step 1. Program the main valve, also known as the PSNO, by pressing the plus or minus key. The program will ask if there is a PSNO present. Select Yes or No using the plus or minus key. Then press the Enter key to apply the setting. Step 2. Adjust the time between activating the main valve and beginning the flush cycle by using the plus or minus key. The time ranges from 5 seconds to 6 minutes. Select the amount of time and press the Enter key. Step 3. Adjust the dwell time using the plus and minus key. Dwell time is the time between backflushing each filter. The time range options are 0 to 60 seconds. Select the amount of time and press the Enter key. Step 4. Adjust the differential pressure delay time using the plus and minus keys. The time is in 5 second increments from 0 to 60 seconds. Select the amount of time and press the Enter key. Step 5. There are two looping options. Option 1 is to select No, which means ignore consecutive flushing cycles. Option 2 is to trigger an alarm based on 1 to 10 consecutive flushing cycles. Adjust the looping with the plus or minus key to select the number of consecutive flushes. Select one of the two options and press the Enter key. Step 6. The next step is alarm activation. There are two options. Option 1 is to select Yes. By selecting Yes, one output is allocated for alarm activation. Option 2 is to select No. This deactivates the alarm function. Select one of the two options using the plus or minus key and press the Enter key. Step 7. Delay valve will appear on the screen. Select No using the plus or minus key, then press the Enter key. Step 8. View Outputs appears on the screen. There are two options. Option 1 is to select Yes. When Yes is selected, the user will be able to view the output assigned to each filter. Option 2 is to select No. When No is selected, the user will not be able to view the output assigned to each filter. Select one of the two options using the plus or minus key and press the Enter key. Step 9. Select the measurement, PSI or bar, using the plus or minus key. Press the Enter key. Step 10. In order to calibrate the pressure sensor, disconnect any tubing that is connected to the pressure sensor inlet and outlet. To adjust the calibration, select Yes using the plus key. Done will appear on the display, indicating that the pressure sensor has been calibrated. Press the Enter key and go to the next step. Step 11. The firmware version number will appear on the display. No action is needed. Press the Enter key to go to the next step. Step 12. The main display will appear. No action is needed here. How to program the Netafim Backflush Controller Now that the controller is set up, we can program the controller. Hold the Enter key for two seconds. The flush time will start to blink. Step 1. Use the plus and minus key to adjust the amount of time to flush each filter. The time ranges from 5 seconds to 6 minutes. Select the amount of time and press the Enter key to apply. Step 2. DP set will start flashing. There are four options. Option 1 is to flush by DP only. Set DP set to the recommended setting. Select a PSI value between 1 and 15 using the plus and minus keys. Press the Enter key. In the flush mode, select DP and press the Enter key. Option 2 is to flush by time only. Set DP set to 0 PSI using the minus key. Press the Enter key. 
In the flush mode, determine how often filters should be flushed by time using the plus and minus keys. The time range is from 5 minutes to 120 hours. Press the enter key. Option 3 is to not flush. Leave DP set as is. Press the enter key. In the flush mode, select off and press the enter key. Option 4 is to flush by DP and time. Set DP set to recommended setting. Select a PSI value between 1 and 15 PSI using the plus and minus key. Press the enter key. In the flush mode, determine how often the filter should flush by time using the plus and minus keys. The time range is from 5 minutes to 120 hours. Press the enter key. Step 3. The screen will show the number of times the filters flushed according to DP. Press the enter key. Next, the display will show the number of times the filters flushed by time. Press the enter key. Next, the display will show the number of times the filters have been flushed manually. How to wire the solenoids to the output cards. For the AC version of the controller, the wiring is as follows. For 24 volt AC normally closed solenoids, the red wire goes to the output and the other wire goes to the common. For the DC controller, the wiring is as follows. For 12 volt DC latching normally closed solenoids, the red wire goes to the common and the other wire goes to the output. For 12 volt DC latching normally open solenoids, the red wire goes to the output and the other wire goes to the common. To install an expansion card, turn the power off. Gently push the expansion card into the expansion card slot. If there is a main valve, also known as a PSNO, use the last output for the main valve. This completes the setup and programming of the NetFM backflush controller.